Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we're going to be doing the scribble art challenge and we're going to be trying to turn our scribbles into artwork. So this challenge has been around for a while now, but it's only just recently gone really popular on TikTok. And thank you to Louise Barnes who requested for us to do it. If you haven't seen this challenge before, how it generally works is you take a sheet of paper and a pen and you just scribble on it and then try and create a piece of art based off whatever you drew. But we're gonna twist the challenge up a little bit and we're gonna be trying to paint a canvas artwork from the scribble, yes. Okay, so we're going to do rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to draw their scribble first. Ready? Go. Oh, I won. I'm going to start. Before we properly start the challenge, we are going to pick what size canvas to use since we are painting. And we're going to be transferring the scribble to the canvas. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pick our first round. I want to use this one. I feel like it looks so cool. It's like a sheet of paper except in canvas form and it's a nice size. I agree. For scribble. We have cut a sheet of paper the same size as the canvas and this is obviously the image is going to get transferred onto there. So this is what I'm going to be scribbling on. And the rule about the scribbles is we cannot take the pencil off until we finish our scribble so it's literally like that it's quite self-explanatory i now have a book so i can do it easier okay well i'm kind of nervous but so let's get started interesting this is what i created i did actually have an idea i wanted to go like that and do something down the middle so then i get um it centered I have my scribble drawn out now and I've also got some tracing paper so now I'm going to transfer the design onto tracing paper and then trace it onto canvas. Let's go! So I've transferred it now to both of our canvases I think I got it pretty even. Right, so we've got all of our materials ready and our scribbles successfully translated onto the canvas. We also have acrylic paints and watercolour paints and we mm -hmm. can choose between the two. And we have some pens and sharpie, yeah. just in case we want to do some detailing and finishing touches. What type of paint are you using? Acrylic. I'm using watercolours. I'm a little bit scared to use paint because I'm wearing a new white top and I don't know why I decided on that. But, well, it might not be white by the end of it. I know what colours I want to use. I want to use a lot of greens because I like green. I think I'm going to try and make it modern -y. This reminds me of a keyboard note. I feel like all scribbles remind me of a keyboard note. But the way it looks, it kind of reminds me Ooh. of those like note things. Right, let's go. Never seen watercolour on a canvas. And it works. I were you, I would go over that with a kitchen towel and lighten it a bit so you don't lose the original. Really, I'm putting it on you if it doesn't work. <gasps> Wait, that looks so cool. I'm a genius. Looks nice. So where I did the points on them, they actually like, look like bird beaks, so I'm gonna add eyes to it and I think that's just Super cool that a little swiggle's turning to a bird now. <laughs> okay, we've finished now. We've completed round one and we're ready to do the final reveal. I could carry on doing mine because there's lots more I could do to it. But I think number one, it would overdo it and we have to do another one anyway. So yeah, I've reached a point where it looks good. So I'm gonna stop here. And just in case you're wondering about these things, we put them up just towards the end of our design so we can reveal it to each other and the camera. When we were finishing off, we didn't look. So now we're gonna reveal it to each other and to you guys. Three, two, one. Whoa, okay, that changed a lot in the last moments and it really made a difference. I guess it's a bird. It looks it like, cool. as I worked into it, I started to like see images of what it could be and like I kind of imagined it as birds, so I kind of carried on that and made them into the birds. Three, two, what? Here it is! I really love it and I think it's so cool. And the fact that it just went from a squirrel to like a bird painting is really crazy. So this is my close up. I kind of just went with it and I dotted around the lines and obviously made birds. There is some more things I could have done with it, but I do really like how it looks. Right, 
now I'm gonna show mine. I really like yours, but mine is quite different. Three, two, one. Ooh! It looks like it goes like round. Yeah. Whoa, it reminds me of a, um, like leaves. So I was thinking of like a forest or something because I did it. It was really cool. Thanks. I worked more inside the lines than you. Yeah. Three, two, one. Here's my design. It's monotone. It's all green. Um, different tones. There's some white on it. So this is mine close up so you can see all the details. I'm really happy with it. And I'm also really happy with the communication of textures on it and how I did that. So that's the end of round one and this is what they look like together. I think it's interesting because I would have obviously never done this design if I didn't do it with a scribble. Same and it's like really bold and stands out definitely mm. more stars. But make sure to comment which one you prefer for round one. Rayleigh's or Ruby's. And now we're going to move on to the second round. Right, now we're ready to go on to round two and it's Ruby's time to choose a canvas first. I'm really excited because I get to choose. The options are this just square one or this long one. I thought it would be really cool to, because I've never actually painted a canvas like this, I don't think, like long. And I feel like a scribble would give more Picasso vibes if I had a long one. So you're picking a long one? I'm gonna pick the long one first. <laughs> okay, so I've got my paper and it's an A4 sheet because that's the size that the canvas is. And I'm gonna draw my scribble. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go with it. All right, go. It's on you too. Here we go. Okay. Oh, nice. I like that one. Interesting. It's like a circle, but I was nervous in the beginning when you were going slow. This is it, it's kind of a swirly design and I kind of did it with a circle and went up. So it's really random, but I think it is actually really- like, I like it, the circle. Centered. Yeah, for me at least. So we've now transferred my scribble design onto the canvases. It was actually pretty hard to do, especially for me, mm. but I did mess up a teeny bit, but it's not like a really, really bad thing. I just kind of did a little whoopsie. <laughs> Anyways, now we can go on to actually adding to it and creating it into something. What are you gonna do with yours, do you think? Or do you think you're gonna go with it? I've got an idea, but I don't wanna tell you until it's like in okay. execution. I think I'm gonna go with it, because last time obviously I did a bird and you did some mm. like coloring in. Cool, nice. Last time I went with it and it turned into something nice, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to do something with Oh my gosh, you're doing a- oh wait, that's so smart, it doesn't like a person. Thanks. Head's a little bit stuck. <laughs> oh, you're the one that drew it. Look at mine. Oh, it looks lovely. Should I do blue? Why blue? <laughs> no, pink, 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 pink. Blue paint's already down. We're going with blue. Wait, is that the hair? Yes. It's funny it's because now I'm interpreting yours like a face. It's weird, I'm interpreting mine as like Picasso art, but you're interpreting that one is like a face, it's so weird that we're interpreting it in such different ways. I think it looks cool though. I'm happy it does look cool. Oh, that looks nice. I like it. It's consistent with the other one as well, isn't it? But yeah, obviously I don't want to like make new lines because it's already been made, but adding the dotted lines, I think adds Doesn't to count. It. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you. It's like, actually, you're making it into a person. Oh, cool. I like it. So we've put these things up because now we're onto the finishing details and we want the final reveal to be a reveal. Now, obviously, they're covered by 
by these, but we haven't seen the final image. We did the sort of last part and kind of mm. probably the most important part. Oh yeah, mine's changed a lot. Same. Yeah, so this is gonna be more of a surprise round definitely than it was last time. And also, because I didn't use a watercolor like canvas that was made for watercolors, the paint did bleed a little bit on mine, I couldn't help that. But it still looks really good, so I'm not complaining about it. It kind of gives a good effect. Well, three. Three, two, one. <gasps> that is so good. Thank you. <laughs> Don't let the two pieces of the hair at the front. Kind of looks like a balloon person. Oh my gosh, a balloon person. That's yeah. <laughs> the things you've added to it, like, that looks completely different to the scribble. Thank That's you. That's like imaginative, like bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She's even added like tones and highlights. Three, two, one. Here's mine, it's a face. See, it looks like a balloon person maybe, but I was going for that like all sweepy hairstyle that people do. That's actually really cute. I would have never painted this if it wasn't for a challenge from a scribble. So I think that's quite cool. Turn around. Three, two, one. Whoa, that is very Picasso. It is, isn't it? Oh, I like it. I like the dotted lines. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but it's just cool. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all in three, two, one. So here it is. I love it. I think it looks so cool. It's definitely Picasso. I did add dots to the lines because it was bleeding and I just wanted it to look a little bit less like that. I like it. So this is my painting. It's definitely really summery and colorful, but I think it's really, really pretty and I like it a lot. So these are our finished pieces of artwork which went from scribbles and doodles to two pieces of artwork. Mm -hmm. And this is a really, really fun challenge to do. I feel like it'd be really fun to do with friends as well. Yeah, definitely. Make sure you comment down below who you think won for each round. We have two shout outs for this week's video. The first shout out goes to Vanessa who tagged us on this amazing space painting. It's super duper cool. Vanessa also has an Instagram account which is here. Make sure to go check it out. Second shout out goes to Ariba who tagged us on this reel which shows a really, really lovely binder journal that they made. Ariba also has an Instagram account which you can go and have a look at. It has some bullet journal ideas and some fruit paintings. So that's the end of our video. We really, really hope you enjoyed. Hopefully the comments will be on for this video. If they are, then make sure to comment down below any future video ideas. If they're not, then the community page is still there. We'll see you all in the next week's video. Love you. Bye. Bye. No. Did you pick it up? Okay, so I want to explain something, but I want to show you guys. Three. <laughs>